Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best Android smartphones. Starting at number 5. Samsung Galaxy A54. Samsung also has a great A-series phone, the Galaxy A54 5G, 8 tenths, Wired recommends. It's a nice alternative to the Pixel. The 6.4-inch AMOLED screen can ratchet up the brightness like crazy, so you never have to squint, and the screen reacts more smoothly thanks to the 120Hz refresh rate. It matches the Pixel on security updates, but it offers an extra year of OS upgrades for a total of 4. The reason it's not our top pick? Performance is good, but things can get a little stuttery when you try to juggle many apps at once, the Pixel 7a easily beats it in speed. But the A54's battery can last more than a day, sometimes close to two depending on usage, and the camera system holds its own, though the Pixel has an edge. There's no headphone jack on the phone, no wireless charging, nor is there a charging brick in the box, but you do get a micro SD slot if you want to expand the 128 gigabytes of included storage. Coming at number 4. Asus Zenfone 10 Cell. Want the smallest Android phone without compromises to performance or features? Get the Asus Zenfone 10, July 10th, Wired recommends. Its 5.9-inch AMOLED screen is compact, sharp, and buttery smooth thanks to the 120Hz screen refresh rate. It's powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip, which is the flagship processor of 2023, and it will handle anything you throw at it with ease. Despite its small size, the Zenfone 10 delivers more than a day of battery life, and you also get perks like wireless charging, a headphone jack, and an IP68 water resistance rating. Oh, and a charging brick comes in the box. How thoughtful. Asus is only promising two Android OS updates, but the Zenfone 10 will get four years of security updates, which is better than ever before. The cameras are the weak point, they're fine, just not the best you can find for the money, and I wish the screen got brighter. It's tough to see on super bright days. This phone also doesn't work on Verizon's network. At number 3. Google Pixel 8. Google's flagship Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro, July 10th, Wired recommends, are more polished than ever, and they're officially the only Android phones that will be supported for a whopping seven years of software updates. Google will have spare parts for the same length of time for repairs too. The camera system on these two phones is, as always, excellent, the ultra-wide on the Pixel 8 Pro is one of the best in the business. There's now secure face unlock, which means you can use your mug as biometric authentication to get into banking apps, but it's not effective in low light, so the fingerprint sensor is still present as a secondary option. The reason to buy Pixel phones is the smart software features, like call screen, which thwarts robocalls and now even lets you respond to people without having to answer the phone. The Pixel 8 series focuses on smart image editing software. With tools like Magic Editor, Audio Magic Eraser, and Best Take, you get a powerful suite of features to easily change up your photos and videos, whether that's by erasing unwanted objects in the background, removing annoying sounds in your videos, or just switching someone's face in a group photo to one where they're not blinking. It's nuts, kind of disconcerting but also fun, and it can be genuinely helpful. I just wish the battery life on these phones could stretch closer to two days. Be sure to check out our best Pixel phones, guide, where we've got case and accessory recommendations. Number 2 of my list. Samsung Galaxy S23. If you want a no compromises best of the best kind of smartphone, then look no further than Samsung's Galaxy S23 range, 9 out of 10, Wired recommends. Whether you opt for the 6.1-inch Galaxy S23, the 6.6-inch S23 Plus, or the massive 6.8-inch S23 Ultra, these phones are chock-full of high-end features, from the powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset that keeps even the most demanding games running beautifully to the fluid and bright 120Hz AMOLED displays. Battery life has improved across the board, 
with the S23 comfortably lasting more than a day and the S23 Ultra hitting nearly two full days with average use. The triple camera systems are the highlight, delivering remarkable results whether it's day or night, and there are plenty of modes and controls to get the look you want. They also offer some of the most stable video footage you can capture on Android phones, particularly with the Ultra. Speaking of, the S23 Ultra technically has four cameras, retaining the extra 10x optical zoom camera from its predecessor, providing versatility whether you want to photograph an ant up close or a faraway kid on a soccer pitch. It's the only phone in the trio with the embedded S Pen stylus if you like to doodle. I like using it as a Bluetooth remote for the camera. Best of all, the lineup will receive four Android OS upgrades and five years of security updates, which is nearly the best you'll find in Android. Once you have yours in hand, read our recommendations on what settings to change to get the most out of it. And number one. Google Pixel 7a. The Pixel 7a, August 10th, Wired recommends, comes very close to being the perfect phone for everybody. It looks gorgeous, especially in the flashy coral color. It has a powerful processor, Tensor G2, to run demanding games and zip through dozens of apps with ease. New in this model is an upgraded 64 megapixel camera and a 13 megapixel ultra wide that take better photos than most other phones its price, and some pricier ones too. The 6.1 inch OLED screen is a nice size that's not too large and not too small, and it gets decently bright. Don't forget the smooth 90Hz screen too. Then there's wireless charging and the IP67 water resistance rating. Did I mention it costs just $499? It will even last a while, thanks to the 5 years of security updates and 3 Android OS upgrades. It does have some concessions. It lacks a headphone jack and a micro SD card slot, so if those are important to you, look elsewhere. The battery life is just okay, on average it can last a day, but you'll need a power bank if you're a power user. And the fingerprint sensor isn't my favorite. But even with these flaws, it's easily the best bang for your buck. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.